uh, I couldn't be happier to have as my final guest of this Super Bowl week uh, somebody who I uh, adore and uh, is uh, a goat of the broadcast industry, to say the least, the great Chris Berman. Good to see you, sir. Woo! Hi, Rick. How are you? Good to be with you, Rich. Betty Davis Eisen. That's I mean, I, I just I can't <laughs> not think of you in those Sports Center days. He was one of us once. Okay? That's right. And, and, and I will never forget when you gave you gave me a choice between Betty Davis Eisen and Kaleidoscope and you Eisen. Picked. Uh, Betty Davis Eisen. I thought I liked it. Kim Carnes, because when you get in the business as long as Kim us, Carnes. or me at least, yes. You sound like Kim Carr. <laughs> we have no voice left. <laughs> Betty, Day, I, I loved it, and I felt uh, I felt knighted, you know, like or felt like I got to the back of the the checkers board, you know. You're, I was you're, kinged. You're, I got kinged by you. You're on the squad. Yeah, I appreciate you're on the that. roster. Uh, I've got a story I'll, I'll I'll tell when the uh, the full audience comes back from from when I first met you. Um, no, great and story. I I, I I I will tell it, you know, as you should. I'm going to tell story. it. Um, and uh, and then we'll then we'll give our prediction and things of that nature. Let's do it. Okay, our radio audience is about to be back. When did you get into town? Just a couple of Wednesday days. evening. Okay. Um, you know, a few right. things to do. The summer all, uh, St. Jude uh, yeah, dinner. That was, that was last night, right? Yes, and that, I'm happy to be involved with that every year or even just go down to Tony Romo. But, I mean, kids with cancer say no more. Of course. Right? Really, you don't have to say any more. That's what that, I do my right? run. I do my run in of support of St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. I know you do. Raising as much cash for them. It's a beautiful, beautiful oh, event. Man, it's a wonderful I event. I know you won the Summer All Award a few years ago. Uh, too, a few right? years ago, yeah. like. Yeah. Oh, eight. Yeah, I know. I didn't know. I, I, I had a full head of hair. Though. <laughs> you had a half. You and me both. Right. Had. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Berman is here, and our radio network is back with us. I'm sitting at the Rich Eisen Show desk, furnished by Granger with supplies and solutions for every industry. Granger has the right product for you. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. What a day that we've had, and it just gets better with the great Chris Berman from ESPN back here on the Rich Eisen Show at a Super Bowl. You're always so kind, you know, whenever you're uh, here at the Super Bowl uh, and free to stop by. So well, I appreciate that. I enjoy being with you. You're on every channel that I know, the Roku channel, mm -hmm. NFL Network. I yeah. mean, you were the... I really enjoyed you, and I texted you over there when you were doing a couple of the Europe games. Thanks. Did you know... Yes. How did any of us know, sitting... In Bristol, Connecticut, where, you know, you and Stu had a wonderful sports center. You know how I feel about when you guys did it. Yes, I, I know. Felt you were continuing what we were doing. Yes. And um, I still feel that. And and then here we are. Uh, one day I'll be I'll be announcing a game in Germany or I, in I London really, or in where, you know. Yeah, and and I, I, I think, and, and that's where one of the many things that I, I picked up from you and want to emulate from you is, is, don't take it for granted and also have fun doing it and live in the moment. And, 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 and if you come across as you're having fun because you're having fun, then everyone else will will take that. And that that's your style, man. That is your style. It's, it's always pretty been basic. your style. Uh, not that I'm I mean, I'm pretty basic, really. But that's not about me. It's no, I know it's really easy to like we just talked with Greg coming off the say he, he had a couple of times when they weren't in the playoffs and he was with us on, on a couple of shows before he got big and he's great at what he does. Yeah. And I said, you know what? I might have told you this then. I don't know. Like if all else fails, talk about football because mm -hmm. you like it. Well, obviously he knows it. He yeah. knows more than I mean, forgot more than you and I will ever know. But but if you like it, yeah. you're not faking it. And somebody out there is feeling just like you. And it's as pure as it can get. I mean, now, if you're upbeat or humorous, if dare I say I might be, or you're more um, Bob Lee-like, who likes the sports, but in a different way. I mean, we're two different animals. Yes. But be yourself. But if you like it, people will see it. That's at 100 uh, percent. And um, I tell the story quite frequently to these guys here and because I got asked a lot, you know, what was it like being on SportsCenter in the mid 90s? I get that question a lot. And I'm, I, I'll never forget when I got to ESPN, I came from Redding, California, market, whatever it was. And you were doing SportsCenter and that rare kind of week for you where you would come back 
and do like a it was a residency. Like MacArthur, like I a, returned. Yeah, you returned. <laughs> it was like a it was like a Bristol residency for the week for you. You know, that's actually very funny. It's really what it was like. And so <laughs> uh, I was. It was what you were doing. That's and good. so you did like you know three four sports centers in a row for the week, and uh, I was in what they called observation mode. So again, I would observe right. before they put me on the air. They wanted to make sure I got the the scheme of things. And uh, I was in the meeting room, you walked in, and the guy I saw on television was the guy who walked in the room. And you were pure. And, and I picked up from that. And then pretty much uh, I, I, I picked up that the people who were successful and everyone that we were working with who was, you know, terrific colleagues, they were the same on the air as off the air. But I went through this period of time in my first three weeks that I was on the air where um, I was walking the hallways and I was wondering if I had belonged. I'm not going to lie. And um, I'll never forget, I, I, I don't know if they still have, the, do they still put the ESPN banners on the for walls? For everybody to sign them? Do they yeah, still they do. Okay, great. For so, charity. Right, yeah. for charity. So the, these, these banners, the ESPN banners that you would see on television that would be draped over the yeah, side of the stadium yeah. to let you know who's who was broadcasting the game as if you didn't know, <laughs> well, right? At any rate, um, so they would be draped across uh, the, the, the cubicles of the, that line the hallways of, of ESPN, and they'd say, please sign for this charity, all on our talent. And I was nervous about signing them, because I didn't know if somebody would be coming out of their offices and seeing the new kids signing like I belonged, you know? I don't know if you remember this moment. Well, you've told me this a oh, while I have back. Told you no, about no, this. no, but they okay. haven't, and I only, Go ahead. So you are. I so, don't remember at the time. But okay. Only because you. So told I, me. I'm. I go into um, the makeup room because you're doing a baseball tonight, just before the sports center that I was doing after. Right. Okay. And you're in the makeup chair, and I go up to you, you know, and I'd never spoken to you before, and I said to you, this is the first time I'd ever spoken to you, Chris, where I said, you know, I explained my conundrum. You know, that I've just, how many do I have to, I said, you're the perfect person to ask. How many of sports centers do I have to do before I feel comfortable signing? And your answer is like, how many have you done? At least one? And I'm like, yeah, I've done several. And you said, F it, sign them all. <laughs> <laughs> it's what you said. And, and I, the, the value of those banners went up unbelievably. <laughs> <rich>. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was looking for that confirmation. <laughs> but no, I, so I immediately pivoted, unsheathed the Sharpie, and signed them all. And and you could have easily big-timed me, or you could have, but that's not your style. But I'm just saying that you could have easily, you know, made me feel a little uncomfortable or not confirmed it. You made me feel completely at ease wow. on the spot. And that just meant Thank so you. much for me to cut loose or do my job, you know, comfortably. And I, I wanted to share that, you know, in front of Thank the cameras you. and everybody. I fooled you too, huh? Yeah, you're yeah, um, right. Yeah, no. Here's the thing. Back then, when we were like you do here, and for the NFL now, I mean, you're on all the time. I mean, you're younger than me. I mean, I was once on all the time. Right. If you're on every day, or just about every day, yeah. and you're faking and not you, no, I'm just one. Saying. Yes. Someone, they'll see through it eventually because you're an actor or an actress a little bit. Mm -hmm. If you're yourself, you're not gonna, Not everyone's going to love you or even like you. Right. Hopefully they'll respect you for being, yeah, that was that guy. Yeah, I don't like your style. Fine. You know, some people like chocolate ice cream. Some people like vanilla. I mean, it's just, but if you're on every day, I mean, to, even to young sportscasters or hopefuls in anything, and you, you realized it, that. Be yourself, because that's one less thing you have to worry about. Does that make sense? Of course. 100%. Chris Berman here on the Rich Eisen Show. This is your 42nd Super Bowl? You know, my, fr uh, my first one was, yes, it was, um, I think that's the number, the Niners' first one, fittingly, with them here. Right. My first one was their first, Super Bowl 16 at the Silverdome in, in Pontiac. Sure, when they against were the Bengals. When they were unknown, they were that year, as were the Bengals, and Joe Montana was, yeah, in Notre Dame, he's all right. Hmm. And the Niners were this, and I kind of, as you know, at those in those days you were all over them well i was their age i did the west coast show rich for the first four years i did the 230 sports center yeah pretty much you do sprinkle here and there well that's 1130 out there mm -hmm. but i don't know if they even know espn is on in 1981 right and i went to cover them and it was the friday before the championship game gets the catch right mm -hmm. the, the famous the catch 
and nine players lined up to be interviewed. It was different then. A couple of them said, I remember Randy Cross, Charlie Young, mm -hmm. a couple of the, you're the Swami. You've been picking us every week. <laughs> well, how do you even know that? Because we watch. You're on. You, I was doing the West Coast show, if yeah. you if you ESPN will. And it was. was two we years have old more. Yeah. We have all the time in the world for you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then the owner, Eddie DeBartolo, was like five years older than me. We met him, and then the catch. It's two days later, and you've seen that clip a million times. Still yeah. one of the highlights of my life, uh, professional life. Um, and I'm still friendly with with every with all those guys and that you know of course Dwight we lost with ALS yes became one of my best friends and that but at any rate fitting that the Niners are back here yes and that's kind of how I began in the Pontiac Silverdome when it was like 10 below and it was an interesting week no that video that you were referring to you you re created the catch what did you do well no 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 the catch I, I did stand up right after the game oh that's right you have one shot to get it right because here they come you you this is live. tell the story go ahead yeah, okay. please. well I mean that was Joe Montana to Dwight Clark and 28 27 San Francisco over Dallas yes uh -huh. beating you know the unbelievable the Niners are on the map and the place is unbelievable and three two one here they come and back then we had the camera with the 30 pound yeah. audio pack <laughs> and, you, and then with a long you're gonna yeah. someone's gonna get hurt if you don't here yeah. they come here come the fan they're charging I gotta roll it three two one and I didn't stumble I said whatever the hell I said for 25 seconds and people are jumping in the background and it was we still play that all the time yeah. you know that that's I was young I was like I was Mm. This is I can't believe I you didn't know you were seeing history but you knew you saw a great moment of course and as it's turned out it was the start of their dynasty. Yeah, there it is right there. Well, the catch. And I Where was, were you? Where were okay. you? Okay, so that's, so come this way. I mean, obviously you can't. Yeah. <laughs> on about the five right here, like on that five. So you're just, you're just off of well, the frame? that's the, the right corner of the end zone. Yes. So we're on the left sideline. Got it. Running play from the 12 to the five, two plays before, tackled right here. In front of you. Lenville Elliott. I picked up my cameraman who's light. Yeah. Greg Wade, that because I yeah. couldn't. He trusted me to get him out of the way, but he hung with the shot. And I picked him up by the collar, moved him back, and planted him. <laughs> and the, the, we had the tackle like right here at the five yard. So this is 1981. And um, I'm still excited to tell it, and I'm still excited to see what we got in store this Sunday. Exactly. Chris Berman here on the Rich Eisen Show. What do you think Super Bowl 58 comes down to, Chris? What do you think? Close. First of all, close. Okay. Um, Obviously, well, most of these games the last 20 years are close, right. aren't they? Mm -hmm. um, it comes down to, I mean, you want one or two things. I don't know how much time we got. You don't need me to analyze it. You I mean, got a got, couple minutes at least. Well, go for it. Well, you know, Patrick, we're, we're seeing greatness. Or legendary coach, legendary quarterback, right? Like, yeah. Just like the Patriots who were four out of five Super Bowls not so long ago. Um, Andy Reid, Patrick Mahomes. So they're at the top of their field, as is Steve Spagnuolo. Now, Andy and Steve don't play the game. Um, you are seeing a chance for a repeat for the first time in 19 years, which I think is cool. Yeah. Doesn't mean don't want San Francisco. It has nothing to do with it. I think it's we're due. Yeah, I know. We're due. It, it, usually it's every decade, one or two of them, right? Yes. So for the Chiefs, can they more than ever, because they seem to be playing on a margin that they weren't, this was not their plan. The way they're playing, mm -hmm. not their plan. But come late December, they went, ooh, we got to limit them to under. The only Buffalo scored over 20 the last month, that two months. Right. So it comes down to those couple of drives that Kansas City will have, mm -hmm. the Rolodex defenses that, meaning you don't know what's coming, but there's a huge file in Steve Spagnuolo, what, what's coming. But conversely, for San Francisco, McCaffrey and, uh, and Christian McCaffrey and, and Debo Samuel, their yards after catch. Kansas City's good tackling defense, right. really good. These are the best at yards after catch, as you well know. Do they break a couple? The Chiefs can come from behind with Mahomes. You always feel you have a chance. It's not really how they want to play, right? right. That not, not anymore. Correct. Uh, so... Mahomes has not turned the ball over in any of the three playoff games. 
Do they have another one like that? They had one fumble, I think, the meat, uh, meat call hard yeah. at, at the Yeah, two, you know, which, through the end zone. Yeah. But it will be, can, can they wrap up enough so that San Francisco doesn't look like the team that steamrolled teams from, like, November 1st to Christmas? Or are there ways in the Niner defense that is really good, and you know all the players, that there may be up the middle a little bit uh, for them, yeah. for them, right. susceptible. Let, let, they're in the Super Bowl. It's a ch- it's a chess game. I like the ball in, in Mahomes' hands very, very late. It's not a non-Brock. Brock Purdy's excellent. People that are stomping on him, not fair. Do you agree? Of course. I agree. Of course. I mean, uh, he wins. He's on time. And being on time, even with a six-yard pass, that allows yak. Correct. Right? Yes. It agree? Put it in the right spot. Right. So they don't even have to stop a little bit. So. So who are you taking? Uh, I am taking the Chiefs, 23 to 20. Okay. Um, I don't have a last play. Like, is it a field goal? I like right. their kicker a lot. Moody's a rookie kicker. Doesn't mean he can't make six of them. But. I that might be a little edge, and I, I, I'm just anxious to see. Will the Niners look like that team that was steamrolling people? Because if they are, then even Kansas City's in trouble. Or have the Chiefs just figured out who they are? And comp- couple of first downs and a punt, not so bad. Right. They thought they would never say that ever. They won't be saying it next year. But they're saying it now. Can they really play to that? And those couple of little electric eel runs by Mahomes. He's like an electric eel, Rich. Yeah, I know. He's tough, he's, to, he's tough to stop. He, he's, he's truly amazing. I mean, but, we're, we're seeing uh, all-time greatness, I but, think, I mean, for sure. Does George Kittle have a bigger tight end game than Travis Kelsey? I love it. These are such great stars that are out there. That's what they the are. Super Bowl is all about. You know? And Kyle Shanahan, look, this, if they win this, San Francisco, which, God, they could. Then we all remember, Rich. You don't forget, but well, wait, no, they've been almost at every NFC Championship game the last five years. Right. But this is, if they win a Super Bowl, it kind of stamps like, no, we've been here for five years, rather than right. almost. We know you're really good, but mm-hmm. not quite. You know what I'm saying? Of course. It like stamps the whole five years. Uh, do you agree with that? Of course, 100. percent Chris Berman here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show uh, here in Las Vegas. That's my last thing for you. Is, is a man who has spent many years with the Swami hat on, <laughs> needing to put the check mark next to the losing team on the screen. <laughs> Can you believe we're here? That's right. Well, with, by, and by the way, explain what that means. And this bet ESPN. Oh, well, you know I what mean, I mean? Look, like it, we're in Las Vegas. And, 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 and this to, team in Las Vegas. You know what I mean? And, and you used to have to say, I'm taking this team to win, but the check mark is against the losing right, team because say, there's no covering. Right. You, you know, you, so this the, is crazy let, that let, we're let's here. Let's say right? somebody was favored by seven, just to put it back. And, yeah. But but I would you I would never pick a I would always pick a score at least three points off the number. Right. If so that you. There was, if you knew what the spread was, shh, the, the, <laughs> the, you knew where I was signing. But the check mark, so if I had 20 to 17, yes. let's say the, the 49ers are with that. 49ers favorite, but not by as much as expected. <laughs> like, the, the, like, like, or much closer than you think. Or. <laughs> Yeah, that to check. Well, how? But they're winning, but they're losing. Like, what is that? Right? We didn't have time for a tutorial, Rich. I mean, it was. And you know what? Yeah. Nobody ever league anybody gave us a hard time for that because right. it was it was for fun. Of course. Really, when I started it, it was more in the '80s for the five dollar office pool. That frankly, really, what it was. Yeah. And. I guess now here we are in Las here Vegas. So, Vegas. <laughs> so what happened to the office pool? <laughs> <That's right. laughs> well, it still exists. It's just probably with a couple zeros on the end of the five. <laughs> yeah, now. Probably. Uh, great to see you, Chris. You're the best, man. Congratulations on your success, Sue. Appreciate everybody. It. Yeah, you're, she's wanted me to send and, uh, and, uh, her best to you too. Please, please do. Nice to be with you. I'm proud of you. Right back at you. Oh, thank you. It means a lot. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.